Yo, what's good guys? Jacob Elias and I'm back again with another video and how are we all doing today, man? If you have read the thumbnail, oh my gosh, bro. <sighs> if you have looked at the thumbnail and read the title of today's video, y'all already know today we are going to be doing a tutorial of how exactly to do locks. Now, um, I made a shorter version of this video on my Instagram and some of you guys responded pretty like well to it. So I just figured that you guys deserve a longer version of it and uh just like in the last video if you want to follow along with the tutorial the link to download the sculpt will be available in the description uh all you gotta do is download blender if you already have blender then all you gotta do is download the file and then uh yeah the words are escaping me you just import it into blender and you'll be able to follow but yeah man without wasting further time let's just get right into the video all right so just like I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, if you guys want to follow along, all you got to do is click the file in the description. It's going to be labeled Head Sculpt. Uh, it's an FBX file, so once you download it, all you got to do is hop into Blender and hit Import. Once you hit Import, go over to FBX. So, like so, you're going to hit FBX, and then you should see something labeled Head Sculpt. Click on that, and you will see this guy. All right. So what we want to do is we're going to hop in first into edit mode. Now, how you can do that is you can go either up here and click on edit mode, or you can just simply hit tab or edit, uh, depending on what type of laptop you're using. I'm using a MacBook, so it is not called edit. It's called tab. And what you're going to do is you're going to click three for faces. If you're not in faces mode already, and we just want to highlight the portions of the head that we want to turn into hair. So with this big head, uh, <laughs> with this big head selected, what we're gonna do is we're going to hold shift and we're going to left click and just highlight the top of the head here, because this is all we really want to use for today's tutorial. And we're gonna highlight all around the head so it's like a clear, transparent orange, transparent orange. Uh, you guys, you you know what I mean. Anyways, with that all selected. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold shift and D and that's gonna copy the item. You're going to right click to put it back into place and you're gonna hit P and selection. Now, what we just did is that we made it its own individual property. So anything that we do to here won't affect what we do to the rest of the head, which is exactly what we need. So now with this part selected, we're gonna go over to uh, our particles property, which has already been collect, uh, selected. And we're going to hit this little plus icon here and we're going to change this to hair. Now, what we're going to do first is that we're going to lower the number of hairs and we're going to lower it to about 85. And then we're going to go to hair length and we're going to change it to 2.36. And we're going to change the segments to seven. Now, we're going to close this and we're going to click hair dynamics, open that up and we're going to change this to seven and we're going to change collision to three. All right. Uh, up next, what we're going to do is we're going to, oops, sorry. We're going to hop into the render portion and we're going to change the steps to seven. And we're going to change the uh, viewport display to seven as well. Also, guys, if I sound a little sick, it's because I am but the grind don't stop. So, you know, still gotta be putting out these videos. So make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, man, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you comment down below what you've learned and feel free if you're following along to just kind of be like, yo, I tried this Jacob and it worked out or yo, Jacob, I tried this out and it did not work for me. Anyways, I'm gonna shut up and go back into the video. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go over to children and you're going to hit interpolated and what we're going to do is we're going to change rent, uh, display amount and render amount. We're going to change display amount to 150 and we're going to change render amount to 200. Now, this is all dependent on how much your computer can handle. So if you're using a Windows laptop, no shade, maybe you wouldn't want to mess with these right now and increase it to 200 or even 150. If you do, maybe your laptop, laptop might explode. Um, so anyways, once you're done with that, you're gonna head over to parting and we're gonna pull this all the way over to the right. And this is gonna do literally what it's called. It's going to part it. So it's gonna separate from the rest of the hairs, which is exactly what we want. All right, 
So now we're going to go into, we're going to use clump, but we're not going to mess with these. We're going to use the clump curve. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag this guy all the way down. And then we're going to make a new point here and we're going to drag it all the way up to the right about here. And then we're going to grab the front part and drag it about mm -hmm. here. Beautiful. All right. So now we're done with that and we're going to go over to roughness. And what we're going to do is we're going to change uniform to 0 0.05. And then we're going to change size to 0 0.01. And we're going to leave everything else alone, but for kink here, we're going to change it to grade. And we can mess with the amplitude a little bit, but not too much because we don't want it too tight and we don't want it too loose either. So something maybe around, if you want some skinny, skinny locks, then you can go for something like this. But we want ours to have a little bit of thickness. Uh, we're going to increase flatness. A little bit actually it might take too long to drag it so we might just hit it to 0.5 and frequency we're gonna leave alone um, hair shape is good we don't really need to do anything else here so this is ideally what we want now all you gotta do is just change the color and the reason why you should increase parting by the way is that now if you can see everything is kind of in the it, everything is completely parted the, the, the way we want it. Uh, I'm sure someone can explain it a lot better than I just did. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to change the color now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit new. And we're going to change base color. And we're going to turn it all the way black. So now we're going to minus this. And... Ooh. Sorry, y'all. Let me try that again. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit plus. We're going to change the color down to black. And now it should work. There we go. It was it was bugging before. Oh, well, because I was in the wrong mode. Anyways. Um, perfect. So now if we hit play, it's going to fall down like we want it to. But there's a problem here. And the problem is that it's going inside the head, which we do not want and is not physically possible in the real world. So how we're going to do that is we're going to hit Control Z just to, you know, redo everything. We're going to click on the scope here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to our physics properties and we're going to, with the head selected, we're going to hit collision. And now if we try it again, it should bounce off. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Exactly like that. And then you're just going to let it play until all of it's kind of put down to the way you want it. So I think that's as low as it's going to go. But if and you know what we can even lower the hairs a little bit more or maybe make it a little bit shorter so let me just go back and we can even take this to a one well not that short but maybe something about here and we can even take this to a 50. perfect now we'll just hit it again And just let it play till we kind of get it to a point we want it to. And there we go. And guys, you have some locks. Now we're going to take it to this view just so we can see all of our hard work. But as you can see, we have our, our locks in place. Yeah, guys, so I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if there's anything that stood out to you, please feel free to drop it in the comments. Um, also, if there, you know, if you try this again, if you try this on your own, please just feel free to uh, tag me on Instagram if you tried it yourself. 
and uh yeah guys if you enjoy these types of videos let me know and i'll be glad to show you some more tips but uh as always make sure that you like comment and subscribe and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video take care and peace